Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. I don't listening. I don't listening, teacher. No teacher. Nothing. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, now yes. Okay. Okay. There I go. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what was the problem. I think it was a, a microphone, the issue. Okay. But the important is you can hear me. So, hey, how was everyone? How was your day? Tighter. Tiring. Right. Uh, too much work. What happened? Very tired. Uh, but, uh, but good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. A lot of work or what? Okay. And is anyone else tired? For example, Emma says tired. Edwin, are you tired? Yes. Um, because um, I started, I started all day. Studied. And I got the, uh, I got the uh, university. Uh, okay. 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 Alejandro, do you study all day? Yes, uh, it's my, uh, yes, yes. Uh, sorry, <laughs> me hablar, este, it's my last, it's my last uh, uh, year, I yeah, study at university, um, uh, I can't. Okay, good. So remember, yesterday we learned, you don't have to make the complete sentence. Emma, for example, Emma said, I'm tired. I studied all day at the university. For Alejandro, me too. So do I. Me too. All right. Joanna, how are you? Uh, very nice. Thank you. Uh, no, uh, uh, Jet. In my work. Ah, me too. In my work. Uh, yeah. You see, so uh, am I. Uh, it's very ocupado. No sé cómo se dice. Baby. Hey, let's help Joanna. How do you say ocupado in English? Busy. Very good, Monica. Busy. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Hey, Oscar, are you busy today? Oscar. It's for me or the other partner? No, no, the, the, you are the only Oscar. Oh, I know <laughs> there is a uh, one, <laughs> Tocayo. <laughs> ah, really? No, 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 no. You are in, in, you are the only Oscar. Uh -huh. All right. Well, today, well, I'm I a driver, and today I visit. Well, you know, do you know the place Pokorang, uh, oh. Spino Beach? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, my my job, I bring uh, entregar, bring. How do you say entregar? Can you remind me? Delivery, Delivery no. 
delivery man i delivered i delivered, I delivered? yes package. i delivered a package mm. yes yeah yes. in the in the old uh, song is in the oh, tower okay. okay okay you see okay thank you oscar thank you you're welcome okay. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that it's helping us to describe and it's very common to use. If you are talking about your day and you say, oh, I had a busy day, I'm tired, and your partner is tired, that the answer is, ah, me too, so am I, so do I, so can I remember. These are the ideas for, is the same, for me, is the same as my partner. That's when we use same. Partner says today. Oh, today I didn't work. No, today not working. Right? Today I didn't work, and I didn't work. Ah, now I say neither did I, or I didn't either. Aida, I put you on mute because your microphone it sounds like a lot of a, a lot of noise. That's why I put on mute. Yep. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Aida. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can understand how we use it. In this moment, we're going to listen to make sure that we remember how to pronounce correctly the different forms. So in this moment, only we listen to the video of how to pronounce the different things that we learned yesterday, okay? Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing and stressing responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Okay. So, I put just a little bit one more time. I am too. The most important is to remember, if your idea is positive, you can use this column or this column. If your sentences or ideas are negative, you have to use this column or this column. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay, good. So that way we remember a little bit from yesterday. Good. So then let's continue. Today we're going to be going on where you're going to look at modal verbs, okay? Like the word would and will. Now, would and will, today we're going to learn four requests. What are requests? Request is when you ask for something, okay? So when you ask for something, this is called the request. Here, we're going to look at how to order food or ordering a meal using requests. Hello, everyone. I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the modal verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Let me put one more. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind? Okay. We're going to practice the conversation in a moment, but first, let's make sure that the vocabulary and the structures are okay. So, the first part, if you see, how is he making the questions? Ah. 
he is asking with words like would, right? And he's using the answer, I will have. This is what you plan to do. If you look at the questions, ah, what would you like? Or would you like anything to drink? Uh, would you like a salad? Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? All of these are for polite requests. Like the waiter. The waiter is asking the client or the customer what he wants to order. But you do not say, uh, hey, do you, do you want a salad? Uh, do you want anything to drink? No, the correct way, the polite way is would you like? Is that okay? It's okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, so if you don't have the computer or if you're not in the platform, the conversation is in the WhatsApp chat. And we are going to practice with our partners in this moment, the conversation. One time is going to be the customer and one time is going to be the waiter with our partner. And then we change again, right? Okay. Thank you. okay. One time okay. customer, one time waiter. So we practice two times. Let's try. How do we move this? Hello, teacher. Hey, René. You didn't join the group. Hello, teacher. Hello, René. <laughs> you didn't join the group. No, 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 no. Okay, let me put you to another group. I not didn't. Okay, let me try. Let me try another group. Okay. 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 Quests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented word and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using word to make requests. Word is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite word.
Okay. Were there any questions, any words that you didn't pronounce correctly or you you think I don't know how to pronounce? Were there any questions for the conversation? Yes, teacher, a question. Um, una palabra ahí en la de kids. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Ke I think it's kebabs. Kebabs, kebabs. okay. Kebabs. Mm -hmm. Es kebabs. ¿Y la de vinagreta? Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Yes. Vinaigrette. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Is, is order or order? Order. What would you like to order? Or sorry, it says, may I take your order? Order. Order. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, uh, what's different? Uh, the, for example, of dressing, well, to like uh, dressing is, is, is como vestimenta. Yes, or, like, no sé. like for the salad, ranch, uh, Italian, the vinaigrette, the blue cheese. This is the, the, the liquid on the salad, the cream for the salad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The other words are okay? Excuse me, I can hear you. What the meaning of lamb kebab? The lamb is the meh, meh. And the kebab is the food that you put in the stick. And you put, for example, meat, Tomato, onion, oh, yeah. meat, tomato. Okay. Okay. It's pincho in Spanish. No, but more or less oh. because because in Spanish we have the remember we have for example uh, bananas, strawberries, and others, and this is not in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the idea? The the idea is correct. That the the style. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Emma. Eh, mi compañero Edwin y yo eh, teníamos la duda de cuando menciona large as T, es verdad que era un T helado grande. Correct. Entonces, eh, ¿por qué al final no solo sería ice como de hielo helado, sino que hay una D al final? It's an adjective. For example, no Mexico food. Mexican food is an adjective. Not the thing. Mm -hmm. No, a noun. Teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, Lynn, sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. I I know the pronunciation of I do like and I like, mm -hmm. but in, but contraction, the contraction, the pronunciation of the contraction. Okay. The contraction is I'd. I'd, I'd like, I'd like, I'd, okay. Correct. And the other contraction is I'll, I'll. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll it's I will, yes? Correct. And I'd is I go. Correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Now we're going to see a little bit more information about how we use these types of words, would and will. But now let's work on them. Using word to make requests. 
word is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use word directly at the beginning of the question. Word plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus word plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using word to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of word in the answer? That's right. It goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using word? Subject plus word plus like plus complement. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Okay. So for questions, right? The apple pie. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Here we know the topic, what we're talking about. If you see, we pronounce one more time, I'd. I'd like apple pie. I sure. like coffee. Yes. Sorry, but I listen a uh, uh, strong. Um, I really like the dessert. You listen, I'm sorry, you listen to what? Um, uh, uh, a strong noise. Uh, I think it's, uh, let me see. I think maybe it's Aida, if she doesn't have her microphone on mute, because it's, uh, thank you, Aida, it's for the, the, the background noise. We hear very strongly today. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Yes, yes, it's better. Okay, then yes, that was the noise. That was the noise. And it's okay, it happens. Sometimes it's for the, the noise. And you are there and you don't know, but the others listen very strong in the microphone. Okay. So, Richard. Aida, you need to leave the microphone on mute. Okay, there you go. So here's the next. Think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now is my turn to ask you. Please respond using word. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream. You see, this is the nice way to ask. No, what, what do you want? Okay, or what do, you, uh, what do you want to eat? Or what do you want to drink? Okay, these are the nice way. The correct way is what would you like? Here, I'm going to give you some examples so that you can see. It's easier with the example. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they're being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. Okay. So you see, we can answer all the requests in two forms. I'd like or I'll have. You see, it's not I'd have. And it's not I'll like. Right? It's I'd like 
or it's going to be I'll have. These are the two correct ways to answer when you make a decision from a polite request. Is this part okay? Uh, a question, teacher. Yes. And what moment use the I'll like and I'll have? The, when no. you answer. So when you answer that I, when you say I want, the correct way is not I want. No, I want a Pepsi or I want mm -hmm. Fanta. You, the correct way is I'd like, or you can say I'll have. Those are the two correct ways to have it. Pero en qué momento voy a utilizar? No sé si no me queda claro o estoy omitiendo algo. Uh -huh. El I'll y I'll. Contraction de I, apóstrofe D, I, apóstrofe W, W, L. Yes, yes. Exactly. It's when you answer the question, when you say, yes, I want. Do you want soda? And you say, yes, I want soda. But it's not correct. I want soda. Correct is, I'll have soda or I like soda. Is that okay? Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, for example? For example, do you want soda? I don't say do you want soda. The correct is, would you like soda? It's a, a aisle. But I like uh, soda. Correct. I oh, like. Oh, I like a Coca Cola. That's fine. Yes. yes. Correct. Well, uh, remember, is with the difference is, I I'll have and I'd like. I'll have and I'd like. Ah, okay. Sure. Here, let me show you one more time. Remember, is is I'd like and I'll have no mix, no uh, I'd have. Okay, and the difference is like and have. Yes. If it's like is I'll. Correct. If it's have is I'll. Ah, okay. Correct. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. So now yes. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anyone else? Me, teacher. teacher Me. I have a question, but it is the conversation. Okay. What's the I question? have a confusion. Okay, what's, because what's the answer? Is, what would you like for dressing? No uh -huh. es dessert. No es dessert. Dressing que no es when you put the, 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 the blouse. The skirt, no es dress dessert, no dressing. No, no, the, the dessert is, for example, the dessert is uh, cheesecake, cookies, yes. ice cream, right? That's the answer. No, no, no. The no, because well, dressing is the, is the sauce that you put on the salad. For example, you put ranch, you put okay, vinegar. Okay. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Sure. Uh -huh. That's the dressing. T-shirt. Yes. I don't I don't have to I don't have clear the idea between us. I go like and I will. I go and I will. And when you uh, use I I, mm -hmm. I think that I use I go like uh, when I to ask something. Yeah. No, is no. no. Is uh yes, you can use. Also, you can use uh when you ask for something. It's correct. You can okay. say I would like, right? But also you can say I'll have. Uh, but but I will have um. I don't know uh, when when to use. I will have. 
the same when you use I would like. If you see the example, <laughs> yes, there's no, no problem. Uh, but okay, for example, uh, so, teacher, uh, uh -huh. you would like to drink soda, for example? Ah, yes, I'll have a Coca Cola or I would like a Coca Cola. <laughs> But I do like this is a, a, a more clear for uh, for me because I do like me gustaría but I will have mm -hmm. uh, I don't clear this this word have in English. But you use in Spanish. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like me gustaría. I'll have tomare. But uh huh, or or me da. I'll have. I'll have. T teacher, I I have a confused. Um, when you when you went ask, um, for example, para usar sorry, para usar el eh, como dice que se usa el I'll con el how, se va a preguntar con el will o siempre con el will. Always would. Oh, the question. Always would. I had a question. The question. Yes. yes. Siempre con good. Correct. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Roxana. And is correct uh, when the wider um, question, would you like to drink? Is correct answer, uh, I all give me a soda? No. Is no, correct. I have, I, I all have. All it's correct, have. I'd like a soda, and it's correct, I'll have a soda. Okay, thank you. It's okay the question, or, or it's okay or, or not clear? It's okay, it's just... Yes. Okay, Oscar. It's for Oscar. Yes. And the others. Yes. Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Yes. So, perfect. So, when we continue, remember when you go to the restaurant and you do not say "I want," you can say "I'll have" or you can say "I would like." I'll have a hamburger or I would like a hamburger. If you use "like," is right we have to use i i'll have with will i will have and if you use uh like is i would like okay it's okay 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 all right okay perfect but so just sure okay mm -hmm. this is a rule this is a rule. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, ever I I I have to use I will have or I will like. Yes. Or, yes. You don't. Uh, make, uh huh. Okay. If you look at the examples, all the examples the same. I would like or I will have, but not correct. I would have and not correct. I'll like. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. can, can say I will like. It's only I would like. Uh -huh. It's correct. I would. It's correct the contraction. I'd like, but always d, 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 this part here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's continue that. Okay. Now, here with your partners, we have only a few questions. We have seven questions, and we're going to practice this. What is the correct? Will, would. What is correct? Want, like. Will, would. Right? So with your partners, now in 3.11, 3.11, we are going to complete the knowledge check with your partners. Okay. okay, there are only seven 
sentences, so only a few minutes, only we read and decide with your partners. Okay, let's try together. Let's see if we understand the correct way to use it. Teacher. Yes. Tengo una pregunta. Okay. Eh, digamos, en la contracción de I do like, ¿verdad? Pero yo recuerdo que hay una contracción de así, I do en I have. O estoy equivocado. Mm, repeat the question again. Um, no sé, por ejemplo, en la contracción que estamos diciendo de I will okay. es E apóstrofe D. Ok, ok. Pero no sé si estoy mal, que verdad que hay una también una contracción igual, pero es I have. Ah, so, so, is uh, I had, I had, yes, yes, you are correct. Y for a difference, uh, para saber cuál... ¿De qué me está diciendo? ¿Sería por el contexto? This is, one is the context and two is the verb. Because I had, the verb is past participle. And I would, the verb is in present. So, so the would, the would, the verb in present, in present. And for example, I, I would like, I will have, I mean, I, I would, I would uh, buy, 
I would read is the verb in present. And had, the verb is in past participle. I had gone. I had seen. I had uh, bought. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's try together. Number one, the wait. What do you like to order? What is the correct answer? What would you like? What would? Good. 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 Okay, what about number two? I'll. 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 I'll have. Okay, good. Number three. Good. Good. Would. Okay. Number four. Would. 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 Number five. Like. 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 Okay. Number six. I. 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 Or I. 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 Number one or number two? Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay. Option one. Good, good. Okay. Now, number seven? Wood. 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 Okay. Hmm. Very good. Did you see? All of the ideas are correct. So, what is the tip? Remember, if you use would, like, right? If you use will, will is have. And then we, it's easy to remember. Any questions? No. No, no question. Okay. No question. Okay, perfect. Let's do a listening exercise. The next exercise is listening, okay? What are we going to listen for? Okay, we're going to listen for an order. So we have two questions to answer. What is Rex's order? What is Rex's order? And what is Hannah's order? So you have two options. Listen and what do they order? Aida, you need to put your microphone on mute. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, oh, yes, yeah. please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes, I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. It's okay or one more time? One more time, please. Okay, one more time. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, 
I'll have some French fries, please. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh. What kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> Then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Let's try Rex's order. The first one. The first one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And another one is the second one. No, sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah. sorry. The, the first one. I think the first one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey, very good. Okay, so make sure you do it in your platform also. That way it's correct in your platform. Me too. Yes. Which one is the last sentence that the Hannah mentioned? It. She said, I'm going to take one of yours. I'm uh, going to. I think she says, not I'm going to take. She says, or I'll have, I'll have some of yours. Is that question, Aida? Okay, thank you. I'll you have some. Okay, good. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay, perfect. So. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, so uh, I I help uh, uh, I I need help uh, in the lesson uh, three three four. Uh, three four. Because. Okay. Uh, I could make sense because, because of what you see on the phone chart. Uh, I, sorry, I, I could be glass in the yesterday. Neither either and more examples. Yes. So this one. Neither. Neither. That neither and the soap. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. This, yes. This one. Okay. So let me explain. I think we have one more time. The, uh, here. Okay. I'll show you the video one more, and that way I can help you. I can too. Okay. So can I. I do. So do. Really? I can't. Wait. And. Yeah, I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I someone know. has the the volume like on the video. I'm not in the mood for India. Neither. Yes, I I I see the video. Uh, uh, only the. The homework is, is uh, very difficult for me. Okay, so okay, so if your sentence is positive, you have the two choices. The I do too, or so do I. Yes. If the sentence is negative, you have the two choices. I don't either, or neither do I. Yes. As, okay. as an example, I like pizza. Joanna, do you like pizza? Yes, I like pizza. Okay, so if you like pizza, you only have two choices. So, I do too, or do too. so do I. Okay. okay. I don't I, I don't fly an airplane. Joanna, do you okay. fly an airplane? I don't either. Correct. Or neither I do. Neither do, do, do I. I. Sorry. Neither do I. I. Uh huh. And that's what you put. So, depend the sentence positive or if negative. Okay. Then, okay. depend okay. if you. Affirmative and negative. Correct. Affirmative and negative. That's correct, Joanna. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to show you a exercise one and two of 3.4 so that you have the idea, okay? Only for 3.4, okay. One and two, okay. Why one and two? Because they are different. One is, you look, you see the auxiliary? I am not it's negative and the auxiliary is am. So the answer is neither am I or the answer is I not, I'm not either. In number two, the auxiliary is can, but is positive. So we can use, so can I, or what is the, what is the other answer, Joanna? So can I, or? Uh, 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 so, 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 do I? No, because the auxiliary is can. You only have two choices. Two. Okay. So can I? I am two. Or I can too, exactly. Or I can too. Okay. 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 Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, perfect. Then let's continue. All right. So remember, the idea is this weekend, today, in this moment, we finish lesson three. Lesson three was the audio. So this weekend, today, tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday, you need to do the midterm exam, right? The midterm exam is this exam, okay? We have many sections. You can see we have many, many sections from section A to G, eight sections, eight. In part A is listen and answer. My recommendation is first read the questions. Number one, read the question and the answers. Read the question and the answers. Read the question and the answer. And then after you finish reading, then listen to the audio and check. But first, read so it's easy to understand what you are going to be asked, okay? That's number one. In section two, here, you need to put the words in the correct order. Here are the words, and you only need to select which form is the correct form. The same, here we have the words, and which form is the correct form, okay? so. For here, you can see we are similar, three questions. But you have to read carefully to make sure you, ex you select the correct answer. Okay. In part C, only is vocabulary. So you read the sentence and you select the word you, for all of them. It's four sentences. So you read and you select the correct word. Number five is the recommendations, the should or the opinions, should, shouldn't, or can't, okay? Remember, should, opinion, yes. Should, shouldn't, opinion, no. And can't is not possible. So you read and you select the options of those three, okay? All right, in letter E, you match the problem with the advice. So remember the medical condition. If I have a fever, what is the recommendation? What do I do? If I have a sunburn, what do I do? And the same for, num for sore muscles and a toothache. Okay, so you read the medical problem and select the correct one. In letter F, you have to use the correct words to complete it. So you read the small conversation and you choose what is the word. Here, if you see, is for the package, is for the pharmacist. 
what word is correct in the pharmacist? This is F. And the last part, letter G. In letter G is reading exercise. You read, you can make smaller, you can make bigger, you decide, you read the conversation, and you answer what is the meaning of the words, one through six, okay? So here's the word, and what is the uh, what is the meaning? Or I think it's the antonym. Let me check. I'm oh, not just the meaning exactly, just the meaning. Any questions for the exam? For the moment, no, teacher. Sure. Yes. I finished this part. Excellent. And you have 80 or more? Yes, the 80. Okay, excellent. Good. So this is the part that you can do be today, tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. Because on Monday, we begin Unit 4. So on Monday, we already begin the next part. Okay? We begin with vocabulary related to geography. But the important is this weekend, oops. Okay. The important is that this weekend, we continue to practice in the platform and complete unit three and complete the midterm exam. But I think that unit three in the class, it should be okay because in the class we do many exercises. So only for you, I think only is necessary the midterm in, the, in your house over the weekend. Any questions? I am not ready. No question. No question. Rene, any questions? No question, not teacher. Okay, okay, good. So now, if no question for the exam, any question for unit one, unit two, unit three, something that you say, hey, no me quedo claro. Any questions? Ah, okay. Okay. So, all is okay. Excellent. So in the midterm, 10. Only in the midterm, only 10, right? No questions, so that is perfect in the midterm. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, in that case, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being here all week. And we continue our activities on Monday. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you so okay, much. teacher. Good evening. Good night. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. To you and the next week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Week. Mm -hmm. Good night. Happy Good weekend. Night. Happy weekend. Thank you. Happy weekend. Thank you. Good too. You too. Thank you, guys. Any questions? No? Osmel, Oscar, even, do you have a question? No question, teacher. It's clear. No, teacher. Okay. It's clear. Okay. Okay, perfect then. All right, guys, then. Okay, teacher. Have a great weekend. Thank Aida, you. you're welcome. Aida, did you have a question? No, teacher. I'm, I'm waiting the 10, 10 one. The time. Ah, okay. Only for the time. Ah, okay. Okay. Making sure. Okay, perfect.